Hello everyone, it's Chloe here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a makeup tutorial slash review. This video has been long overdue, I think, but today's video is going to be a review on the Pure X Raw Beauty Christie palette. I'm so excited. <laughs> this came in the mail yesterday. I've been waiting for this for a very long time. Don't really know how long, but it's a very long time. I'll explain that a little bit more after the intro is over, but this palette, if you haven't seen it, is two different palettes in one. One side is neutrals, one side is color. So what I'm going to do today is one eye is going to be natural or neutral, sorry, and the other is going to be color, but I'm going to do like the same style. Style. Like if I do a halo eye, I'm going to do a halo on this side. It's just going to look the same, just different colors. Because I want to give you guys a review on both sides. So it's going to look a bit odd, but I do obviously want to give you a, a review on both sides of the palette instead of just one. So, so if you want to see my review on this beautiful bad boy, just keep on watching. One, two, three, let's go. So as you can see, I've already got my base and my brows on. That's all I've done. I haven't done anything else. Let me just talk about the... This it was a shit ride to get this palette. I'm just telling you. Basically, I didn't stay up to get this palette because I wasn't planning on getting it. I really just didn't want it, I guess. I don't know. My friend Shiny was getting it. So I was like, you know what? If she's getting it, I'm going to get it because we can rave about it. We have been, so it's fine. So basically, she stayed up or she woke up and she was stuck in line for the whole time. And then I got up at 6 o'clock like I always do and I checked then and I got put in to line and I got through and I put all my details in and then it got kicked me out for some reason. I'm like, okay, whatever. I had to go shopping that day. So I went shopping. If you were a part of this launch, this launch was so bad. Like, I'm just going to tell you, this is like the worst launch I've ever been a part of. So time consuming. It's so bad. Anyways, so I thought I didn't get one, but then I checked my bank because I bought something else that day and then they took pure, took out the 60 something dollars that was this. And I was like, okay, I haven't got an email. I haven't got anything saying that I've got it, but you've taken the money out. I was really confused and I was shitting myself because it's six dollars and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna email them. They emailed me back and I said it. I actually got a palette and I got an email and everything So it's fine. The execution of the launch could have been so much better. Just saying. Regardless, I had the palette and I'm very grateful for it So this is the front. So you've got some little decals that Christy actually drew herself apparently And this is the back. So you've got a beautiful photo of her, the colorful side and the natural side and a bit of a description So like the outer packaging, the actual palette itself has the same design on both sides. Basically, this is the natural side so you have a mirror up here so hopefully I don't blind you with that but this is the natural side so there is nine shades on both sides so this is the natural side and you close it up flip it over and then you have the colorful side so this is the colorful side again same amount of shade just obviously a lot more brighter so I actually love this concept of having just like the palette and then two different I love this idea I love it this is actually a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be I don't know why I expected it to be a lot bigger but it is I'm gonna start with the natural eye first I reckon so I'm actually kind of excited. So let's get into this. I feel like this eye is going to be natural. This eye is going to be color. So I feel like we'll do the natural eye first. And then it's the way to go. I'm going to use my P. Louise base like always. This is in room of 0.5. With all my reviews, if you're new here, hello. I always use the same P. Louise base because I trust this base. And if the eyeshadow palette doesn't work with this base, it's not because of the base. Does that make sense? Like I'm actually used to this, using this base. I'm going to use a Morphe 410 brush. And just basically bring that all the way over my lid. And also carving out my brow at the same time time. I'm not really going to focus on anything else but the eyeshadow because it's obviously the review on the palette so but everything else is going to be the same so like my face makeup and everything is pretty much the same but all my all the products I have used whether I showed it in this video or not will be linked down below like always so I'm just going to put this all over my lid and I'm going to grab the Morphe 173 which is the doe foot brush I always use and I'm just going to dab that into the lid and spread that all over. For today's look on both sides I'm going to do a cut crease kind of half cut crease not cut crease what just because it's a lot easier for me to do that. So this is the natural side. I don't know if you saw it a lot better before. I'm honestly really intrigued by these two colors up here. So I'm going to probably do it. I'm going to use Camelot. Camelot? Camelot? Which is this yellow, excuse me, mirror, sorry, which is this yellow shade here. Honestly, very excited to use that. So I'm going to use it on Oh, I'm going to use it on a Morphe Jack and Hill 31 brush. I'm going to pick that up. Now, I've never used pure cosmetics ever before. So, like, this is like a full first impression. So, there's a lot kicked back in that pan. That's fun. I'm going to put this on the outer corner of my eye. 
Oh, okay. I didn't really expect that. That's actually kind of darker than I thought it was going to be. I think I like this color. This little thing in the corner is my mirror, so please ignore that. I'm just going to keep tapping this. And I'm just going to, like, try and find the, like, shape that I'm going for. This is actually very pigmented. Not going to lie. I thought it wasn't going to be. But there is so much kickback in that pan. So I'm just going to put this slowly going into the inner corner. Just to obviously find that shape of my crease. Doing this with a light hand. And then I'm going to intensify it a bit later on. So I'm just going to continue doing... Oh, that's... That's a bit of the brush hello so i'm just gonna obviously do this so i haven't heard any reviews on this i haven't watched any videos because i wanted my own review on this i think i didn't actually really watch christy's like announcement video i just saw the photos which are sick the promo photos for this collection is phenomenal i love this promo pics i love christy herself and the fact that she's pregnant i'm obsessed okay i love her whole story but i just really didn't watch anything i watched a, a small video this morning basically because i wanted to know if people actually did two looks in, in a same video this one person did so i just decided to do that so i haven't actually seen anything about it so this is like my full review so one thing i've noticed while i'm talking to you guys about this palette is as soon as i keep blending it out the pigmentation is going away so you can see that it's not as bright as it was when i first put it on my eye which is kind of usual for eyeshadows so it's like not a major deal but just letting you know okay i'm gonna get another brush my brushes are so dirty this is the jack and hill brush number 32 and i'm gonna grab the shade next to that this mirror and you can't bend these mirrors unfortunately so you, sorry if you see glare i'm gonna use this shade right here which is called it just does which is a orange toned red and again a lot of kickback oh okay so i'm gonna deepen this edge of the crease up with this color why is that on my face get that off just to kind of like deepen up and kind of give it like a sunset vibe i feel like these two colors together are going to give a really good sunset vibe oh hello so i'm just going to basically do what i just did with the camel toe camel lot <laughs> color and i'm just going to blend this together i'm going to grab the camel lot color again and use it as well which i'm going to do with the brush i used for that shade i don't know if i like this look <laughs> i know i just started but like do i like this look i don't know so i'm gonna like kind of fade the edges out because i don't want it to be that harsh so i think regardless of whatever i do in the crease my lid shade is gonna be golden ticket which is the center shade which is the only shimmer in this side of the palette the rest are matte golden ticket will be my lid shade so just letting you guys know that but i'm gonna deepen up the crease and everything and like make it pretty so there's a lot of browns on this side i'm gonna use your not my real dad which i think is the dark darkest shade in this palette on a little pencil brush which is a jack and hill 37 and very lightly tap that even though it's a dark color i'm pretty sure it's going to be pigments for shit and again i'm going to attach this to the outer corner and make it extra vampy and like dark in the outer corner they do blend very well together i will give them that they're just once you blend them together to make them blend really well they just lose a lot of pigment which is a big problem for me because i love pigment you guys know but again i can just go back in with all the colors and just touch it up again so it's not like a a major deal for me but again if you're not a fan of that i'm just letting you know that that happens okay i'm just going back in with it just does and i'm going to just blend that all together and then i'm going to go back in with the first color i use which is the camel one like the yellow is kind of gone with the camel color i'm going to bring it back because it's actually a really pretty color i'm going to put that to my brow bone as well i don't know if i like this look i feel like it's just it looks all brown on camera maybe not on like in real life but it looks all brown on camera i don't really know what's happening it kind of looks good but kind doesn't i'm going to grab a very 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 small brush this is the morphe jack and hill again i'm not meaning to use all jack and hill brushes this is the 40 this is number 40 and i'm going to use the i'm going to use a lighter shade in this palette which is up here this is called my whole heart now i know on the colorful side there is a white shade so if you did want to highlight with the white it is there and you can actually use this white shade to mix with colors that is called lumos but i'm going to use this one because obviously i'm using this side so i'm going to use that on that brush i just mentioned before and put that on my brow bone just to kind of blend it all together and you know make sure it doesn't look like shit they do blend very well together i will give them that they blend very well it's a lot of kickback in the pan but i'm actually kind of a fan i feel like this is actually a really good palette the only problem is with reviewing this palette now is the fact that nobody can really get it because you it's limited edition first of all and second of all they did a pre-order or a pre-release or whatever you want to call it after i got this in the first release they do another release and that was a pre-order and everyone's not getting that till like september october this is probably going up in september so hello i'm filming this in august but does that make sense i feel like it's really hard to do a review on this because i don't think anyone's gonna be able to get it if they haven't got it already that's the problem but if you do have it this is my review on it i guess 
So sorry if you couldn't get your hands on it, but I'll to let you know if it's worth it or not if you missed out on anything particular. I'm going to go back in with your Not My Real Dad and just deepen up that crease a little bit more. Not too much though. I'm going to kind of blend that out to the outer edge as well. Just have like a little V at the end. You see what I mean? See what's happening? So I'm going to just blend all those colors back together. It's not really that hard. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back into this eye and start this eye and then do the, the cut creases at the same time. It's just going to be a lot easier. But when I do the cut crease, I'm going to add a bit more of that shade at the outer corner, but I'll tell you guys that. So I'm going to do P. Louise base on this side as well, and then we'll start with the colorful side. I'm actually very excited for the colorful side because I prefer colorful looks, but I also do like my naturals. A lot of you guys prefer natural makeup on me, but I don't really mind what I wear, but sometimes I'm in a mood for color, sometimes I'm not. So I like the fact that Christy did both because I know for a fact that she likes to do both, which is obviously what I do. So I'm just happy that she put both sides so people like me that like to do both can have one palette that is very versatile, but people that want to like branch out into either natural or colorful have the ability to do that with this one palette. I freaking love that idea. I have Pila Louise base in my brow. Please ignore that. I'll fix it. Pila Louise base is now on. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my colorful side. So with this side, they're all matte except the center shade once again. So I'm pretty sure like I'm going to do with this side, the center shade will be my lid shade. So I have all this color. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> so I feel like I'm kind of have to do like yellow and orange, kind of like mixing with this. But I kind of want to use this pink and purple. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to wing it. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to use this purple in my crease, which is called Tribute. And I'm going to blend it out with that pink. Kind of nervous. Anyway, so I'm going to use Tribute, which is the purple. And put that right in the crease. So, I'm not too shabby. I feel like the pink is going to be the shade that I have to... Oh, hello. I'm going to be really picky about because pink stains the shit out of my lids. I feel like that's with everyone. But for me, it stains the shit out of my lids. But sometimes I don't actually look pink. Because obviously, pink is obviously red, right? If you produce a pink shade, I want it to look pink and not red. So it's, I'm very picky when it comes to pinks because all the time it looks red, which isn't bad. But sometimes I just want it to be pink, not red, you know? I feel like the first thing I can notice with this palette or this side of the palette, sorry, is that they're a little bit more pigmented than this side but I feel like I'm using a lot more on this side if that makes sense because I love my color whoopsies so I feel like it's I'm gonna be judging both sides of the palette but I'm judging one palette at the same time hopefully that makes sense it's probably really confusing but what can you do about it so I'm just gonna bring this purple into my crease the inner corner so it kind of looks like this so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab another brush a lot of brushes involved so I'm gonna use the pink shade on a Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush this is number 36 I'm gonna use that to blend out the edges of the purple. So I'm going very, very light-handed with this. I'm gonna tap the pink and start blending out the edge of that purple. It's a very light hand. It's gonna take a long time, but hey, that's what we're here for. Like, see what I mean? Like, they blend really well together. It doesn't look as blended on camera, but it is blended in real life, I promise you that. They do blend very, very well together. I will give them that. So obviously, it's starting to rain, so sorry if you can hear that. Because some palettes, their colors are perfect, pigmented, whatever, but they never blend well. So I feel like with this, oh, that's a lot of color, Chloe. It looks really really good like blending wise so again like this side as soon as I put the pink on to blend out the purple the purple is going away so I have to obviously keep touching it up but again it's not a major deal but if you're like kind of in a rush and you want to do something pretty like this I wouldn't recommend because the colors will fade a lot you definitely need a lot of time if you were to use this palette because you need a lot of time to blend everything out properly so I'm just gonna go back in with the purple and just blend everything a little bit better and also bring back the pigment I did lose in this palette or in this side of the palette I guess. Um, if I keep saying palette, I mean the side I'm using. There's no real dark shade to deepen up a look with this. Whereas this side, you had the whole brown to deepen it up, which I think is going to look a bit odd if I use it on this side. So what I'm going to try and do is actually use this blue to deepen up the edge of this look. This blue is called Hurtful, which is right here. So I'm going to use this on a small pencil brush and kind of just blend it out and hopefully it looks good. So we're going to go a bit of that and we're going to add that to the outer edge. Because I do feel like the purple is the darkest shade in this palette. So I do feel like I have a bit of an issue with that. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't have done that, but what can you do? Because I feel like if you do purple, you kind of have to, it looks bad. Oh, okay, maybe not. I feel like if you do a purple crease to deepen up, you have to use black, which obviously there isn't a black in this shade, in this palette, which I'm kind of actually okay with. I wasn't like looking forward to a black in this palette. I think the browns are fine, like they're good enough. So we're kind of getting somewhere. So again, like the other side, I'm going to blend out the edges just to make them look a little bit more better than like just a harsh look, I guess. What I'm going to do is for my brow bone thing, like I did this side, I'm going to use the white, which is called Lumos, like I said before. Sometimes whites can be overpowering in the brow bone, so hopefully this was not as powerful. <laughs> so 
So I'm going to grab a Jaclyn Hill brush number 39. I swear to God I didn't expect to use so much Jaclyn Hill brush. I'm sorry. And I'm just going to use that on my brow bone. And kind of just blend everything out. And like make it look kind of pretty. And you know just all the normal stuff I do. The blue isn't that bad in it actually. I thought it was going to be bad. I honestly was kind of regretting the blue. But it looks kind of cool I think. Right? Are we looking at the same thing? I think so. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the lid shades. Which I'm actually very excited about. Because I feel like this is what it's going to bring the looks together. It doesn't look that crazy having this and this. I feel like it would have been worse, but it's actually not that bad. What I'm going to do for my crease shade, I'm going to go back to this side. So I'm going to flip the palette over and go back to this side. I'm going to get a flat shadow brush ready. So I'm going to grab the Peely Louise base. This is the white one. This is in room zero. I'm going to grab a bit on the back of my hand and I'm going to carve out my crease. Nothing too special. Just like a natural crease shade, you know? Just make it look pretty. Where's my brush? So I'm just going to cut the crease. Nothing new. Where's my mirror? All right. So once I've done that, I'm going to tap on the edge of this with my finger just to blend it out so when I put a brown color on top of it to blend it out even more it doesn't look as harsh you know so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a pencil brush once again and grab you're not my real dad and just cover the edge of that P. Louise base just so it's not as harsh and it looks kind of cute you know like so and I'm gonna actually just maybe add a bit of that it just does shade just to blend it a little bit more together what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab golden ticket which is this middle shade which I think is actually stunning I'm gonna swatch it this is golden ticket it. if you can see that without my face being in focus there you go that's golden ticket that's going on my eyelid right on top of that pillow's base i just put on i'm out of focus so i'm gonna grab that on a morphe 124 which is a flat shaded brush i'm gonna pick up just the normal amount that you always use and i'm gonna place it right on top of that pillow's base oh that is pretty but you have to use kind of a lot there we go that's what i wanted can you really see that on camera i don't know if you can really tell so i'm just gonna go back in with your not my real dad and just touch the edge up a little bit more that's a pretty look but i'm not sure if you can really tell that i have a shimmer on my lid maybe you can it's pretty very very natural i can tell you that so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut this crease as well on this side and then on top of that i'm gonna use cafe disco which is this shade here it's more pinky base so so i'm gonna cut my crease on this side and then i'm gonna swatch the cafe disco shade and then i'm gonna put it on my eye and see how it looks this is cafe disco i'm just gonna swatch it really bad swatch i apologize that is cafe disco there so it's a lot more pinker than golden ticket i think it's called i'm going to use the jacqueline hill brown Brush, and there's no number on this which is great i'm going to use that with cafe disco i'm going to put that right on top of that p louise base there's no real fallout either just letting you guys know there's actually no real fallout on my face i think there's only fallout from the shimmers um because i've been pressing it onto that base so obviously i've been like digging it into my eye i guess but besides that there's nothing really too dramatic about it so i'm going to grab a mix of tribute which is the purple and a mix of hurtful which is the blue and just touch up the edge of where that shimmer meets my crease just to make it look a bit more pretty and not so harsh you feel this is pretty much what is happening with my face i'm not going to add any eyeliner because i feel like it's just going to ruin the fact that i have two different colored eyeballs on my eyelid but it's not too bad i think i kind of prefer the purple i like that's just because i prefer color but let me know what you guys think but i'm going to do the rest of my face and lashes off camera and i'll come back and i'm gonna do my lower lash line with you guys and put my lipstick and then i will tell you guys my final thoughts on this because honestly it's actually pretty good and i tried to use as much colors as i could but if you want more tutorials using this with different colors let me know it's just very hard to add multiple colors on your face on your eye face whatever I don't know if that makes sense i've also just realized with this side you pretty much have every color of the rainbow you've got red orange yellow blue the green the purple and a pink pretty much have the entire rainbow on this side you can see myself in the reflection in the bottom hello i prefer this side over this side but again that's just my personal preference but let me do the rest of my face i'm gonna come back and i'll do the lower lash line and then we can talk about the okay guys so i'm now back with basically everything done besides lips and my lower lash line these lashes are in polar by supernova love these things i did have another pair on but i just didn't fit my eyelid so i just opted for my pair i've already worn before but this is what they look like with lashes on honestly i'm kind of liking the two different looks they don't even look the same but like the colors don't go well together but they look cute <laughs> anyway we're gonna do my lower lash line now so i'm gonna obviously go back in with the palette so we'll do this eye first i'm just gonna grab a pencil brush and i'm gonna grab it just does which is the orange shade i use and I'm probably going to deepen up a little bit with the dark brown later on. But I'm just going to use that on my lower lash line. I am going to deepen this up with the brown just because.
because as you can tell it's very red compared to the crease shade but i just want to put this color down first and then i can build it up with the brown if that makes any sense like so and then i'm going to grab you're not my real dad which is the brown that i've been using and i'm just going to put that on my lower lash line as well and just kind of blend it all together like so okay so now for this eyeball i'm going to obviously use the purple and i'm going to blend it in with the pink i'm going to go in with another pencil brush and grab a tribute which is the obviously the shade i used as the purple i'm going to put that on my lower lash line i'm going to bring that all the way to the front and then on the same brush i'm going to grab a bit of side effect which is the bright pink that i kind of blended it out with and i'm just going to put that with that purple because pink and purple blend really well together and so obviously this lower lash line is going to be no exception like so so i'm now just going to put a little bit of mascara on nothing too fancy i'm just going to make my lashes blend in with my fake ones and then i'm going to put some on my lower lash line i didn't put anything in my waterline just because i didn't really know what to do and the eyes are done i'm just going to quickly do my lips what i'm going to use i'm going to use the maybelline super stay matte ink in number 56 now on top of that i'm going to use the morphe gloss in speak out so this is going to be my lip combo today okay so what i'm going to do while i wait for this to dry i'm going to go off camera fix my hair and then i'm going to come back and tell you guys my final thoughts on the pure x raw beauty christie palette so guys i am back with whatever my hair is doing i apologize but i am now finished my complete look this is what i came up with while using the palette today i thought it was going to look bad with two different eye shades but honestly it's not that bad i thought it was going to be worse looking like this i was going to take it off straight away but it looks kind of good i think <laughs> overall i do like this palette besides the fact that i hated the launch of it <laughs> let's not talk about the launch i'm just going to talk about the palette itself i personally like this palette i just kind of think that for me i don't mind fallout and a pain like or kickback not fall or same thing basically but i don't mind it i really don't care like morphe does it everyone i usually have palettes for do have kickback but this was kind of annoying like usually kickback for me is actually okay something was different about this palette with the kickback i feel like it's because the kickback went to other different colors usually with kickback with other palettes i use just stay in the one little pan of the color i'm using this however had so much kickback it went into different colored pans which is not what i want <laughs> i obviously don't want them to mix so that is obviously one downfall for me i am being very picky with this because i am doing a review for you guys so i really wanted to give you guys my 100% honest review so just letting you guys know there was a lot of kickback in this the concept of the palette itself with the double flip I absolutely adore i feel like more people need to do this concept like this is sickening like i love this idea it's honestly so cool to have like one side and then the other side i freaking love the idea i think this is perfect for traveling obviously not right now but this would be perfect for traveling if you're going away for a longer period of time than like a weekend or anything because you have your naturals but if you want to spice it up you can obviously use the colorful side i don't really want to choose a side i prefer both because you guys know i like using naturals and colors but if i had to pick one that i would go more towards i think i would pick the colorful side i'd use more often i actually like the colors in both i do feel how this side has a lot of browns i feel like there's four browns out of nine shades which is kind of a bit of a eh. they're all different shades of brown obviously but i feel like there's maybe room for improvement with that side but with this side you have basically every color of the rainbow please excuse the mirrors i'm so sorry with this side you basically have every color of the rainbow and a shimmer and also a white which is obviously what you kind of want in a palette i think this is like the perfect color palette pretty much because you have every color plus a shimmer and plus a white so i feel like this is perfect whereas this side which is a natural color story wise you can kind of change up a little bit more but the quality is very highly made i've never tried pure cosmetics ever before prior to this palette so this was like a first impressions purely for for the brand as well not just christie's palette so this was like a whole brand type of thing for me honestly i do like their colors when you first put them on your eye it's very 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 pigmented like 100 pigmentation you guys probably saw that but i do feel like obviously when you blend it a lot because i do blend my shadows a lot because i want it to have like a fade i do feel like you do lose a lot of that pigmentation which obviously occurs with whatever you use like whatever palette you use but i do feel like this is a lot more than usual or what i use anyway i feel like this is really dark i'm sorry it's a very gloomy day outside i do apologize it's not that dark in my room i do apologize i just feel like it needs to be a, like buildable a lot but I, I do really like how these shadows look and i actually do really enjoy this palette if you did purchase this hopefully this review 
helped and if you're waiting for it the mail hopefully this review helped unfortunately i don't think you'll be able to get this i think the pre-order the second time around is finished i'm not really sure if they're doing another one they might be or restocking it whatever the word you want to say they might be restocking it i'm not sure just keep up to date with pure instagram and twitter and stuff i do highly recommend this palette if you are able to get it because it's honestly it's a good palette to have in your collection whether you have a small collection or a big collection i feel like i am going to be leaning towards this palette a lot in my everyday use so i'm actually really excited to do that that is my little review on the raw beauty christy x pure palette i hope you guys enjoyed the look i created i'm kind of happy with the fact that i did the same style i think if i changed the style of the eye it would have looked bad as shit i hope you guys enjoyed me trying out both sides of the palette today hopefully you guys enjoyed it there is another makeup review coming soon of kimchi x naomi small i had the parcel come in the mail today so i'm actually going to do another review very very soon for you guys and there's a couple clothing hauls coming up and just more hauls coming up so hopefully you guys enjoy all my different content i've been doing recently so hopefully you guys enjoy it if you like this video give it a thumbs up for me if you are new here please subscribe make two videos a week for you guys every monday and thursday all my social media links and all the other information i've mentioned in this video will be linked down below like always as well as all the products i use will be linked down below like always i always do that for you guys it's a lot easier for you guys to know all the products and that's pretty much it everybody remember to spread love and stay positive and i'll see you guys in my next one bye everyone